Hello everyone and welcome back to server again. Within this video we are going to see that what happens if we want to run multiple run arguments here within this particular file. It means I want to add something else as well within same file. So what would happen? Let me say that I want to install GCC here. GCC is a library package and I want to install within same image. It means I want to have such a scenario where multiple softwares are required within single image so now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to run a command which is docker build dot so let us see what happens here so if you see that uh, step one from alpine nothing is downloaded then step two run apk add update redis using cache so what is this using cache it means if you have not modified anything within your existing docker file so the image which was used previously or which was created previously only that image of redis will be used wherein when we are talking about third step of out of four so run apk add hyphen hyphen update gcc this is downloading something from internet and this is installing into a new image of container running in so this particular container is new because this has been created out of this then after what happened like removing intermediate container this to this so the container which was created just to add these particular files within that part, that uh, file that container image so that is removed here once again cmd and after the, this particular redis hyphen server is executed so new container id is generated after after adding that command inside that container so that is also terminated and finally we have a newly created image which is built out of this container so what do we need to understand here is that if we are going to change anything so obviously the newly added step within our docker file like the step was docker like apk add update gcc so this was executed and what what would happen if i run the same command once again so it will say that there is nothing to do but what would happen that if this will say that alpine image is available using cache for adding your radius within this then after using cache because everything has been cached by docker itself then after using cache for adding this command as well and successfully successfully build this thing nothing is downloaded now let us try to change something here what if i want to cut this command and i want to paste it here it means I have modified the condition earlier what was happening earlier redis was being installed first then after gcc was being added but now I have changed the condition here it means I want to install gcc first and after that your redis and rest of things are going to be same so now when I run this command so now because the sequence has been changed of installation now this will fetch the image and this will do all the things so what it is going to do is like from alpine because alpine image is going to remain same but if you see that it is installing once again gcc package here because the particular gcc has to be installed before it is docker understands that the particular second package which you are going to install is supposed to be dependency or maybe redis is being dependent on gcc that is why gcc is required to install redis on your system so this is executing this command then after after adding this particular so that is adding redis and obviously because redis is also being downloaded from internet and then after your command is executed and rest of containers so keep this thing my like multiple commands which you are going to run inside your docker file so intermediate containers are created and these are terminated and finally when all the things happens all the things takes place so finally your usable docker container image is available so this is it for example if i run this command once again so right now same output will be there there would nothing happen everything will be used from cache itself so this is known as redis cache and uh, this particular redis cache is being used by docker because everything related to this file whatever we are uh, like uh, trying to achieve here is that is coming from docker so docker can use its cache so as we are going to use this cache in term of redis container so that is quite easy to use every time if you are going to modify a docker file 
so only updated changes are going to get executed but if you are going to change sequence of your docker file so docker does not understand whether the same commands are supposed to be there or same commands are being executed that took that that totally takes care of your sequence that in which you can see have written the command so this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time please do like share and subscribe to server again thank you very much have a good time